Hey hello guys, I hope you're doing well today. In this video I'm going to show you how to speed up your PC or laptop running Windows 11 and below. Now this is a very fast and easy tutorial so just follow along. The first thing that we're going to do is a search the start icon right here. Right click it and head to settings right here. Now once the settings open up you simply go down to the system settings and from there you go to the middle one which says storage. Now once the storage opens up, here you see all the storage that's being used. Now from here you have a storage management option, that is the storage sense. This automatically frees up space for you and it deletes temporary files which deletes all the junk. Now this will already increase the speed of your laptop or PC so make sure that this is turned on. Now from here we have a cleanup recommendation right here. We simply select the downloads and the recycle bin and from there we clean up the 5.82 gigabytes. Now this will also increase the speed of your system. Now for the second option in our settings we're heading down to the privacy and security tab right here and we see a diagnostic and a feedback option right below windows permissions. So simply click it and from there you have your diagnostic data. Now this is data that you send to Microsoft itself which is a process running in the background which will slow down your system so make sure to turn this off. If you want uh, Microsoft to have your data simply turn it on but this will slow down your system. From there we go to the gaming tab and here we have the game mode. Now the game mode should always be on. The game mode is a process that optimizes your processes in your system which allows your system, your PC, your laptop to run faster. So make sure to turn this on. Now from your privacy and security tab you head back to system tab right here and you look for the power and battery settings right there. Now you scroll down and you see a power mode option right below the power settings. Now you simply select this one and you make sure that it is set to best performance because if it is set to balanced on best power efficiency this will uh, eliminate certain processes in your laptop which will slow down your PC or laptop. So make sure that it always uses the best performance and uh, maximizes the speed of your system. Now you can close down this step and we'll head to the next step. Now for the following step we're going to close down some services in the Windows application settings. So simply head down to your Windows icon, your start menu, right click it and go to run. Now here you type in the following command services.msc. This is very important. From here we press OK and this window with all the services from Windows will appear. Now simply make it uh, bigger and from here we head to the next service which is the a L J O Y N router service right here. Now this is a service that allows Windows to connect with other devices. So let's say you're using a smart TV and your PC or laptop is connected with it. This service allows for it but it takes a toll on the system and makes it slower. So if you don't use any uh, smart watches, any smart TVs, you can disable it. So simply right click it from here head to properties now once you're in the properties you have a startup type we're going to select disabled so from here press apply and press ok now for the following service we're going to the one that we already deselected but there's a service in the service system which can also take a toll on the system and that is connected user experiences and telemetry now this means that it will send data to Microsoft and tell if something's wrong but we don't need that and from here we can simply right click it and from here properties and as you can see the startup type is already on automatic but we're going to check to disabled so from here we apply it press ok and it will start to be disabled now as you can see it's still running so simply stop the process and it's stopped. Now for the last service we're going to disable, it's the remote desktop service. So simply go to a random service, type in R, 
This will take you to the R section and here we have the remote desktop servers. Now, if you don't use your PC or laptop remote, simply right click it and from here add to properties and simply select the startup type to disabled. Now, from there we apply it, press OK and this process should be disabled. Now, from here we head to the next step. Now, for the following step, we're going to the task manager. So, right here, open up the start menu, right click in and go to the task manager. Now the task manager is a task manager which, which keeps all the processes on your PC in one system. So as you can see, I have my Microsoft Outlook running in the back. I have OBS Studio, my software program, which allows me to record videos and Firefox. These are all programs that take a toll on my system. So check if there's anything that you don't need, for example, Microsoft Teams, you right click it and you add the task. This will already decrease the use of the CPU and the memory. Now, so, so go through your system and check if there's anything that you don't need. Simply close it. Don't close anything like the anti-malware software or the desktop window manager. So simply check if there's anything that you don't need. Now for the startup apps, it's important that there's not a lot of apps running because when you do a boot up of your system, all these programs that are enabled will start when you start your process. So simply uh, disable all the stuff that you don't need. For example, CC Cleaner, I will disable it. Now, as you can see, here's the startup impact. It's low. But for example, if I have my Microsoft Edge, it's really high, make sure to disable it. And this will boost up your startup and your overall increase of the performance of your PC or laptop. Now for the next step, we're heading down to the uh, start icon once more and we type the run icon. From here, we open up clean MGR right here. So type in clean MGR, press OK, and this will open up the disk cleanup, the drive selection. Now simply select the drive that you're using, the C drive for me, press OK, and it will start the process. Now here you have all the files that are temporary. These are junk files. You can all delete them, it's very safe. So simply select all of them, the recycle bin, temporary files, and press OK. Now here's the, to the total amount of disk space that you gain. For me, it's 800 MB. Simply press OK, delete the files, and it will start cleaning up the drive. Now, once you've done the clean disk up, you simply head down to the start icon. And from here, you type the run icon and you type in app with.cpl right here. Simply press OK and it will open up all the installed programs on your system. So here you can see all the installed programs that you've currently have on your system. Now it's important that you don't have a system which is over flooded with programs and is very full. So simply delete all the applications that you don't need anymore. So let's say I want to delete CC Cleaner for example. I simply go to CC Cleaner I press it, I right click it, and I uninstall or change the file. Simply press yes, and now the process of the uninstallation is heading. Now simply follow the wizard and uninstall the program. Now do this with all the files that you don't need anymore. Now the final step is to check for the Windows Updater. So simply go to the search bar and type in Windows Update. It will take you to the Windows Update settings. And from here, you can see if your system is up to date. Because if you have a lower firmware on your system, it will uh, make the system slower. So simply check for updates and see if there's anything available for you. Now, if you have any questions regarding this easy tutorial, please leave them down in the comments and I will try to do my very best to help you. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.